Hey there, so I'm indoors today. I've got little baby A with me, but I thought I would just share with you a little update on how the paper whites are doing, a little bit of my kind of Christmassy decor. I didn't go absolutely crazy this year because obviously I've been just slightly busy, um, but I wanted to add just a few cute little touches to kind of bring in, you know, just some of that holiday spirit and of course we got to be festive we got to be ready um for santa and so we got the tree up and everything like that so i just wanted to share a little bit of what it's looking like and kind of um as a little bit of a keepsake for me too so that i remember um how we did all the decorations this year but first let's look at um at the paper white so i had some interesting growth as you can see at the bottom here a couple of them haven't really taken off yet. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Two of them are getting really large now and they are about to bloom actually. We've got some blooms on them. But these two down here are just, I don't know, not doing anything yet. We'll see, I've been trying to make sure they get even water, um, but that's just, you know, I don't know. Not quite sure what's going on with that. I did do one in its own little singular cup and I think this has been really cute. I've been really um, enjoying this look. It's just a little bit, I don't know, just a little different and kind of fun and cute. And I do think I see some blooms coming up. It's just, this one's also a little slower than the other two. So not quite sure. But in terms of the rest of the decor, I really just focused on um, some kind of like little classic touches and then keeping a lot of it just really simple, a lot of greens. You can see I've got some greens on the banister there. That has been really, really nice. And then we did add in um, a lot of different colors to the tree. So usually I do a kind of just like a red tree pretty much red with a little bit of like green and some silvers but this year i added in the blues i got some blue ribbons i added in um, a little bit of plaid into the tree just to kind of add kind of like a richness and something different to the the whole design and i've really been enjoying it it's so funny that when i first put up my christmas tree and i first do the decorations i always um kind of hate it <laughs> i don't know what it is like i look at it and i'm like no 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 no, i can't do this but then after living with it i've been really enjoying having those different colors in there it's been really really nice and just has yeah added some more depth and kind of something fun i feel like it's still very classic and that's always sort of my christmas like vibe is i just want that really kind of just classic traditional christmas and so we do have garlands on the banisters i've got the mistletoe hanging over the door and we've got a lot of features like that um but then um we just have like the normal kind of fun stuff too so i put in some touches like you know, our little elf on the shelf is hanging out, keeping an eye on things um, and stuff like that. I did add in um, a different centerpiece this year that I have just been absolutely loving. And that has been um, bulbs in my blue and white pot. So I like to add a little bit of blue and white in my home. I have some of those kind of like traditionally blue and white kind of colors and themes i got some plates on the walls and stuff like that and i have a lot of these different planters whenever i go to the garden center and i see the beautiful blue and white planters i just automatically want to pick them up i think they're, they're so pretty and so i thought you know what i'll just fill them with bulbs kind of like you would with like easter eggs in the spring that was sort of my um my thought process for that Thought I'd prop you up against a few pillows here so I could hold it better. So yeah, so I um I added the bulbs just to my little blue and white pots, and that's been one of my favorite um kind of centerpieces decor items this whole season. It's so easy to literally just um fill it up with bulbs. You wouldn't even need to fill it all the way up with bulbs if you wanted to. Like if you didn't have enough, you could put something else um underneath it. And then I had a few of those um faux uh like faux pine branches and so i just stuck a couple faux pine branches into just to sort of fill it out a little bit and give it a little you know i don't know a little bit something um so that was super easy and just really nice and then it kind of ties in and i think plays well with the blue and white pots for the paper white so they're all kind of um tying in together so that's been uh my biggest decor um <laughs> the cats 
walking around. The cats have been loving the Christmas tree. This is my second year with these cats and last year they tore apart my Christmas tree, just absolutely like wrecked it. Um, Cause I did the big bows and ribbons like going down through the tree. So this has been my attempt at a cat proof tree. And I just did smaller ribbons that I really secured with um, florist wire. And that worked so much better. They knock on wood. <laughs> They haven't been able to get any of it like off yet. And I, you know, they mess with the ornaments and they play with them, but I use some of that florist wire too to attach some of the ornaments that are in, within like swatting distance um, of the tree as well. And so that has helped to keep them off it. And they really haven't been able to knock anything down, which is such a relief. Um, so that's been really nice. We've got kind of a gray and sort of dark day. I really haven't been out in the garden much in the last couple days. Kind of just been giving myself a break, giving it a break. We're getting a little bit of freezing rain and I think actually snow is on the forecast possibly. So some of that in the future. Um, but I do need to get out and water some of my containers and do um, some of that kind of stuff because the containers still need watering and I put a bunch of my pots up by the house to keep them protected, uh, but then they're also like up by the house and not getting all the rainwater. So I've got a few chores out there, but it's nice to be spending some time just inside, enjoying the home, enjoying all the Christmas um, decorations, trying to get in that Christmas spirit. I'm gonna see if I can get myself together to bake some cookies this afternoon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off, um, but I know that my older daughter would love to do that. So I think we'll try to get a few um, a few cookies baked as well. I really love like the sprinkle cookies that you make with um, just like a box of cake mix. I'll, I'll put the link in the description below um, if you're looking for like a super easy, just, you know, easy, easy cookie to make. That's kind of my go-to if I'm not feeling like doing the, the full big thing, but I've got a few other recipes in mind, so I may have to pull those out. Um, but anyways, this is the, the Christmas home and I just wanted to share a little bit of it. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.